Get me the heck up out of here. I'm ready to go, baby, okay? This is Nadula Hair's 24 inch kinky curly unit. Pre everything, the lace is cut, the lace is dyed. The curl pattern is really nice. All you have to do is literally put it on your head. It is completely glueless. These tapes here help it last up to seven days of staying on your head. With these tapes on the lace, it helps adhere to the skin so you don't have to use any nasty sticky glue. Like I said, it lasts up to seven days, guys. It is waterproof, so you can shower, you can swim with this, and it will stay glued down to your skin. It's not irritating or anything. It just helps it, just that extra layer of a little bit more security. I just cut a little bit just to give the hair a little bit of shape, just some really low layers in the hair. I could have went in and did more, but I just wanted to give it a little bit of a better shape just so you can see how better it lays when it's over my shoulders. This wig was super simple, pre-everything, so really it is like 10 minutes and you're out the door. It looks really cute. It is simple, just get it wet, put a little bit of product in it, that's all it needs. So you guys check out Nadula Hair, all of the information will be down below.
trying not to cry. I'm still in Costa Rica. The ladies are gone. They, um, like if you watched my vlog before this, my travel vlog to Costa Rica, where I'm still fucking at, um, you would see that them four, they had their own flight. Y'all know I have that flying past the United, so of course my flight going home is booked the United because you fly for free, basically. <sighs> um, so, you know, I think I've told you guys before, if you don't know, when you're on these flying passes, it's standby. So, basically, if someone misses their flight or if the flight isn't full, you get on. I haven't had any issues. This is my first time having an issue. <laughs> oh, God. And I was booked on the 11 a.m. flight. When I checked this morning, there were like three open seats available. Two people on standby. I was number one on standby. Within the time of me waking up this morning and making it to the airport, those two seats that were available or three seats, however many it was, it was like two or three. They sold. And guess what? Everybody showed up for their flight. So then they were like, okay, well, there's another flight at 1.30. And I'm like, it's okay. It's cool. I'm going to be in, back in the lounge. I'm going back to the lounge. I'm going to eat. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. I'm cool. The guy was like, it looks like it's nine. He's like, it's only saying it's two open seats on this 1.30 flight. But from what I could see, it's nine open seats. He was like, so you look, it looks good. It looks pretty good. <sighs> Those available seats sold. They sold. They sold. And everybody showed up for their flight. There was nobody who missed the flight at 1.30. And that was the last flight out of here to Houston. Okay. There's only three direct flights out of San Jose Airport per day. That's a 7 a.m. flight. The 11 a.m. flight, which was my original one, and then that 1.30. After that, that is it. There is no other flights. I couldn't even fly into Newark or Chicago. Like, there's United doesn't fly to the States <laughs> at all anymore. I would have had to... Now, I did look up other airlines. I looked up Southwest because Southwest does fly here. I looked up... What's the green one? Frontier, American. Anyways, all of those flights, since I missed that 130 flight and couldn't get on, every flight, um, I'm not gonna wouldn't get I wouldn't get back home until tomorrow anyway. So I'm here. I booked a really cheap hotel. I'm at the Fairfield Inn. Um Thankfully, I have, I'm on someone's friends and family, so this room was only $50, and I'm going to pay for my flight in the morning. I'm getting on that 7 a.m. flight in the morning. I'm not going to try to fly for free. I need a ticket in my hand. Fuck that. I am buying my flight. I've already checked it up on it. It's $220. Put me on that $220 flight. Now, they do have one that's $80. I might, I might do it. It's a spirit flight. The only thing about spirit, I, I, y'all know I'm, I love spirit. I've, I've ridden spirit for a very long time. Spirit is very good for delaying and canceling flights. I'll be damn if I go through this again tomorrow. So it's like I can sleep a little bit longer and save a lot of money on that spirit flight for eighty dollars, or I can pay the two twenty. 7 a.m. first thing out of here on United. Y'all, it's, it's, it's some birds at my window. What are those? Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? They're, they're at my window. There was two of them at first. Now there's just one. Oh, he's back. Y'all, this is... I'm literally in Costa Rica. And there's Polly want a crackers at my window. This is crazy. I'm not gonna hurt you, man. You ain't gotta be scared. This is crazy. They're perched up on my one. I'm on the fifth floor and they just perched here. The, the, the fuck? I want to go home.
home. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to get up out of here. Oh, y'all, I've been holding back tears for the past. How long have I been dealing with this? What time is it? It's 3.02 right now. So for the past hour and a half. Oh my God. If, it, if at least one of the girls was here with me, I wouldn't feel as bad. I, I, oh, what y'all doing? Yeah, if at least one of the girls was with me, I wouldn't feel as bad. Um, I'm by myself and my friends are gone. I'm sorry. This, the whole segment of this video, I'm not going to be complaining. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just living in the moment and my emotions are in the moment. My boyfriend's talking about don't stress over the things you can't change. And y'all know that's my motto. I say that all the time. We cannot stress over the things that we cannot change, but... I'm in Costa Rica by myself and I'm ready to go home. Let me get these birds. Child, let me get these birds on camera. This is crazy. Child. What kind of bird? Hi. Oh. Okay. Well, they flew away, y'all. <laughs> As soon as I put my camera in their face, they flew away. Okay. I have to make the best of this because, yeah, I just have to make the best of it. So, um, I'm in San Jose. This is eight minutes from the airport. Where we stayed at in our Airbnb is called Jaco, J-A-C-O. And that was closer to like beaches and stuff. This San Jose is like city. Like this, this is neighborhoods over here. Like this is city living. So it's not like I can even be like, okay, well, let's make the best of it. Let's get a cocktail and put on a bathing suit and go to the beach. No. Now I could, I mean, I can go to the pool. They do have a pool here. No, I'm not doing that. Um, I don't even think I'm going to leave my hotel. They have a restaurant here inside the hotel that's open till midnight. Man, when Jennifer gets off her plane, she is going to be sick when she sees all my text messages. She already knew because my flight, my original flight was leaving at 11 and theirs was leaving at 1130. So she knew when I didn't get on my 11 a.m. flight, I text her and I was like, hey, I'm not getting on. Um, they're pushing me to the 130 flight and they're saying it looks good. Like I should be able to get on it. She's like, Gina, oh my God, I don't want to leave you. I feel like shit. Oh my God, I hate that you're there. Like she was so upset. I'm like, girl, I'm fine, girl. I'm going back to the lounge. I'm about to just chill and eat and just, you know. When she sees the messages that I'm staying at your day, she's, I know she's going to feel so bad. And I don't like people feeling bad because it's not their fault. Like my boyfriend right now, he feels terrible. He's like, I feel helpless. Like I feel like, he's like, I wish I was there. I wish I had a solution for this. He was like, I wish I could help you. He's like, I just feel so helpless. And I'm just like, it's not your fault. Like there's nothing you can do. Like there's just nothing you can do. So yeah. I think I'm gonna go make me some coffee. Okay, come on, y'all. Let's go get some coffee. They have a um a coffee bar for the elite members. She said it's some type of it's this right here. Dear elite members, thank you for being a part of our da 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 da. We invite you to enjoy our exclusive coffee station located at the end of the hallway. Okay. I might just keep this on all day, sleep in it, wake up and go straight to the airport since I gotta be up at 5 a.m. anyway. Let's get some coffee. And y'all, y'all already know they put me in the timeout section. Okay. There's the end of the, that all the way down there. That's where the elevators are, way down there. I'm at the end of the hall, right here by the window. But this is the Bonvoy Elite Coffee Station. Oh, this is for any and everybody. This ain't no elite nothing. And it's empty. Ain't no water bottles down here or nothing. Child. 
I thought I was about to get something special. And it ain't it ain't even in no room closed off. So even if I wasn't an elite member, I'd still be able to get some coffee. Unless this is the floor. Maybe they only put elite members on this floor. Maybe that's what it is. Somebody left a coffee here. Ew. Yuck. So we want an espresso, a cappuccino, a cocoa chino. What's a cocoa chino? A mocha chino. A vanilla cappuccino. Oh, let's do one. What's the cocoa and mocha? I thought were both chocolate, right? Or am I tripping? Let's do one cocoa chino and one mocha chino, and then we're gonna taste and see which one. I can't even hardly pick it up. It's gonna fall on my hand. Oh my god. Oh lord. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, let me give y'all a little tour. This is the bathroom. Sink. Mirror. Toilet. Stand up shower. And then we come out of here. Coffee station. Safe. Refrigerator. Okay. I need to see if that water comes with my elite status. I think it does. And then this is the room. Very basic, queen size bed. Y'all already saw the window. Desk, TV. I believe this is a little closet. It is. Narrow but deep. Okay. Hey y'all, it's a few hours later. This is part of their happy hour for the um, Bon Boy Elite guests is the mini pizzas. <laughs> Y'all know I'm not big on pizza at all. But I haven't eaten since... What time did I eat? 11 a.m.? Anyway, got water, got mini pizzas, and that's that. <laughs> I have literally just been laying here. Looking at airplane prices, looking at different airlines. Saying, do I want to go at 7 a.m.? Do I want to go at 11 a.m.? What do I want to do? That's what I've been doing. I'm watching YouTube videos. Literally, that's it. But yeah, anyway, that's what I'm doing. Good morning, Costa Rica. Get me the heck up out of here. I'm ready to go, baby, okay? It's 5.30 in the morning, and I'm ready to go, okay? My flight's in two hours, a little bit over two hours. This is my view out my hotel window. <laughs> I told you, I'm in neighborhood. <laughs> Y'all see that? This is like a neighborhood. Look at all the people getting ready for work. Okay, let me um, hurry up, get my little bit of stuff together so I can go. I don't wanna hit no rush hour traffic even though I am eight minutes away. An eight minute commute can easily turn into a 15 to 20 minute commute. At least in Houston, I know how that can work. So I don't know what goes on here. So let's go. Y'all look at my dinner last night. I wasted, look at this, three quesadillas, wasted. When I tell you I took one bite into them, child, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so sick of wasting money on food. I don't even know if we told y'all the money we've wasted on, not all the money, because everything here is very cheap. Uber, like my Uber from the airport to get here was like $3.80 converted to U.S. money. Yeah, but anyway, everything here is very um, pretty cheap and reasonable. Um, yeah, I, I guess we just picked the wrong places to go eat at. I feel like we have, we ate it maybe 
one really, really good place. That was the place that had the live band. Y'all gotta watch my vlog. Just watch my vlog. Okay, let's get ready. I'll be back. Make sure I ain't left nothing. I ain't taking nothing out, but you still want to check. Okay, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. I have never been more excited to leave somewhere. Because <laughs> this unexpected uh, shit. Y'all remember when we went on that trip with Lily? I Was it? I believe it was her Panama trip. I believe it was. I could be mistaken. But anyway, if y'all not subscribed to my girl Lily, y'all subscribe to my y'all subscribe to my girl Lily, yours truly. Anyway, she her flight got canceled and she had to spend a whole extra night here, there, where she was. Um, and she turned it into like a little mini solo vacation. The difference is her whole flight got canceled so a lot of people from her flight or maybe everybody from her flight they all put them in this one hotel so she knew she had already been talking to people she knew people baby i'm here solo dollar don't know nobody language barrier this was unexpected and yeah i just showed y'all outside my window ain't no beach over here ain't no shopping mall nothing we right here at the airport but anyway let's get the ace out Hey y'all, I'm down here getting a free breakfast. We got a waffle, rice, eggs, potato, and some fruit. I'm booking my Uber right now. Yeah, booking my Uber right now, it's taking a minute though. Maybe because it's so early in the morning, I don't know. Hey y'all, bag is checked. And I have a seat. Best money I ever spent. <laughs> No, but like real shit i need to book a solo trip soon i need to i need to book a solo trip soon just so i can the way i felt yesterday i was so upset that i was here by myself but i'm like Gina, you travel by yourself so much you've been out the country by yourself on a planned trip by yourself so anyways it just made me think like I need to plan a solo trip this summer sometime. Yeah. But anyway, I'm in the line. We headed to our gate. I even have time to go to the lounge if I want to. Like, we're gonna see. I'm back home. I made it safe and sound. I have a long, long journey ahead of me to get back home. A 55 minute drive. Yeah. First thing I'm doing is going to get something to eat. I am hungry. <laughs> that little bit of food that I barely even picked over this morning, I'm just like, it's all gone. It's all out of my system. I need, I just want something light. Like I want, like a turkey sandwich sounds so good. Like Jason's Deli, Schlotsky's, McAllister's. One of those places, just like a nice turkey salad, even pot bellies. I don't think I'm gonna pass by pot bellies. Not Subway. But yeah, just checking in, letting you guys know I'm home. They're, the kid's dad is about to bring them home to change their clothes. They are going to the McDonald's All-American Basketball Game. Today, last night, they went to some, was it a dunk contest? It was something with the McDonald's All-American, something. But I think today's the final day. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, he's bringing them home to change and then that's what they're doing and then he'll drop them back off at home or I'll have to meet him, I don't know. I'll probably meet him after the game. And yeah, that's that, that's just that on that. I'm tired and I'm hungry. Weird 
that I unplugged all of my plugins around the house because I'm just like, it's no reason to have air fresheners plugged in when you're out of town. I don't remember where this one goes. Oh, you know what? Does this one go in my bedroom? Does this one go in my bathroom? And then this one goes right here. I cannot remember. Child, I still don't remember. I just put uh, it in the walkway of my bedroom because I don't remember. I already have one in my bathroom. I already have one in my bedroom. I think I would have one right there when I have one right there, right here, and then five feet away right there again. I just put it in the walkway of my bedroom. I ain't gonna stress about it, but anyways, y'all, it's way, way, way later. I took a nap for about an hour and a half. I don't know if I messed myself up for tonight or what. I was just so tired in the moment. I only slept for about five and a half, six hours last night. Waking up at 5.30 a.m., actually right before. For some reason, I'd be waking up right before my alarm goes off. So, like, right before 5.30 a.m. Ugh, y'all, I fell asleep at 6 o'clock. Anyways, I came home to a bunch of packages. So, we're going to open them up. And I'm going to try to go through this very quickly. Fingers crossed. Okay, so, y'all know Kanye Yeezy. He, um, his whole website is $20. So, I wanted to order this tank top. Well, I did. I ordered the tank top. The only, to me, cute thing for women on his website. Let's see the quality. So, my imagination was to wear this to the beach. I got the biggest size, which is a large. Look how tiny this is. I'm glad I got the large. Oh, my God. So... It's so weird, like I ordered this about three weeks ago and then Ari, Moneybag Yo's girlfriend in his new music video that just came out like three or four days ago, she styled it how I planned on styling it with a black bikini, this over top of it and then some uh, see-through fishnet shorts. I'm like, she literally had the same outfit that I had planned in my head. That's kind of weird. But anyway, yeah, this will be coming on some type of vacation or pool party or something but so yeah this was from Kanye West line it was $20 and then shipping was like $15 plus tax child I wound up paying like $40 for this tank top after it was offset is it on here no all right moving along Amazon I ordered a bunch more of those uh jumpsuits that I showed you guys in the last vlog, the ones that have the V in the back and the scrunch butt. So I just ordered different colors. Like I got gray. I got it in black. They fit so good. These fit so good. They make your body look amazing. Of course, it will be linked down below. I just need to make an Amazon store. Like that's really what I need to do. And ain't doing it. Been saying I was going to do it forever. I ain't do it. So this is more. I spent like $200 on these. So these are all the, I think these are the flare leg ones. Yeah, these are the flare leg ones. The ones I just showed you, those were the legging ones. These are flare. Very good for tall girls. Come all the way down to the ground. I do wear a size extra large in all of these. So if you decide to order, just go off of my sizing. And I got this coffee brown one. Y'all got all the colors. Y'all know I like me a simple outfit I could throw on with a little crop jacket. Ain't gotta think about it. This one is coffee brown also, but this one is the flare leg version. The, this one is the legging version, flare leg version. Yeah. Linked down below. Next package. I think this is one of those ads that I saw on Instagram. I believe, I believe. And it is. It's from a company called Bad Society. Do not remove 
Is it attached? What in the heck? Where is it attached at? How do you even... The string is messing me up because how do you even wear it? Oh my God, this is crazy how stretchy this is. I'm gonna have to try this on. It's so stretchy, it might not give me no support in the chest area. Then Fashion Nova. So I did reorder this dress. I showed you guys this rust colored fringe dress like maybe like three vlogs ago. And I didn't like how big it was in the waist. And I was like, mm, I might as well just take it back. So I, that's what I did. I had an extra large at first and then I sent it back for a medium. Yeah, it has a lot of give. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One arm in, one arm out. It has this beautiful fringe. It's a maxi dress, comes down past the knee. Now this has been in my wish list forever because every time they restock, it sells out. This is also one of those pieces it had mixed reviews it is a like a vacation set maxi skirt that has like this cutout detail in the front super long it sits like this with the maxi skirt then i just got some faux leather trousers these are from the tall section i got a size large probably should have got extra large that waist is looking tiny Ooh, they don't even stretch a lot. These might be going back. They don't stretch a lot at all. But they're just some, look at that waist. And this is a size large. I don't know if y'all can tell how little that waist is. Oh my God, fashion over. Now I got the BBL body, but God dog, that's a bit much. Hmm. I'm about to eat my Caesar salad. Should I start? Should I? body just hasn't caught up yet it's like i want to sit down and unpack but that just sounds so horrible and so disgusting right now yeah okay this is the one from bad society this is so cute i do think i'd feel comfortable in a large or even a medium just because it stretches so much then y'all know when y'all wear y'all's clothes it stretches out more during the day Anyway, I'm probably not going to go through the hassle of returning it. I don't know yet. But anyway, look how cute it is, y'all. So, it's not on, of course, up at the top. But look at the V in the front. And then it has the tie. And then it's just hella long. Like, it's so long. Even on my tippy toes, it's so long. So, I really like this. And flesh and come on finish it and Tasha Cleveland's definitely yeah, in the house you need to my hair the up. fact that she knows the words to a song that came out when I was her age is crazy I think I was in seven ah! what the hell <laughs> what, is she yes! what, are you, what is going on Talking about. It, if it, it's on camera, if you did it, so you want to tell the it truth just, now, it just, or you? It just it's on camera. I'm gonna rewind it. I'll be back, y'all. You want to tell the truth? Good morning and happy Wednesday. Yes, I'm still in bed. <laughs> I'm not in in bed. I've been up. I um made me a little egg white turkey sausage bowl, so I ate a little bit of breakfast. Um. I'm about to get ready for a meeting. I have a meeting in a little bit less than an hour that I'm gonna start getting ready for in a minute. I really only have to be heat. Business at the top, you already know, okay? Just business, put a little blouse on and I'll be good. That's how I do all my little Zoom meetings. But anyways, yeah, so I'm about to get ready for that. And then after that, I'm probably just gonna do some, um, some editing because y'all know every day is an editing day for me. Even days where I say, oh, I'm not going to get no work done. I'm I'm caught up on everything. I ain't going to do nothing every day. Turns into a work day. But y'all, there is one thing I just want to speak on. And I hope I can talk about this really quick because I am on a time frame. Y'all, this is for the people who I think don't understand friendships. 
let me say that because it's a lot of people out here who um i personally think don't understand friendships maybe it's because they don't have friends maybe it's because maybe they only have one friend maybe it's because they've been through some traumatic things in their life with friends i'm not really sure but i haven't even put out my vlog for jennifer's birthday trip i've only put out some pictures a reel two two reels i want to say and, and and a handful of pictures we are all getting dms and messages and comments under our pictures where's so-and-so so-and-so's missing where's so-and-so where's this person this person and this person how come these people aren't invited how come these people are never on your trips how come we've only seen this person on one trip how come da 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 it's always like where is somebody at? First of all, first and foremost, this was not my trip. This was a trip I was invited on, okay? I didn't plan this trip. This was not my birthday trip. That's number one, numero uno, okay? Don't ask me who's, why someone ain't there, there and, and it ain't my trip. That's weird, okay? So, secondly, <laughs> Just because you don't see somebody on every trip, at every party, every event, every vlog, it does not mean they are not friends. You barely see my sister on my channel. And guess what? She is the one person in this world who I talk to every single day. Probably every, not every hour, at least every other hour. We are DMing, we are texting, we are calling. But yet, we're not around each other every day. I live far from my sister, okay? She has a work schedule. I have a work schedule and a, and a parenting schedule, okay? So, you don't see her all the time. So, it'd be weird if anyone questioned, how come y'all... And I've, had, I've actually had people question, like, how come your sister's never around? Because she has her own life and I have mine and we live far from each other? But it ain't no beef or nothing. Just because you don't see her in every vlog. And there's sometimes I'm with my sister while I ain't vlogging. So anyways, I'm saying that to say, not everybody is going to be at everything. And that is okay. That does not mean people have fallen out. That does not mean people are mad at each other or don't speak to each other. It doesn't mean that, okay? For instance, Lily was at my birthday stuff in houston she flew in to come to houston to celebrate my birthday but you didn't see her on jennifer's birthday trip are we all still friends are we all still cool yes Kristen alexis we just went on a girl's trip with her this past summer just a few months ago okay i've been on a few girl trips so we even went to vegas together we've been on more than one trip together but she wasn't able to make it to my birthday in Houston, okay? She didn't make it to Lily's birthday trip. Are we all still cool? Yeah, we are. Drea and Poe, they came to all my birthday stuff. They came to all Jennifer's birthday stuff. They didn't come to Jennifer's birthday trip. Are they still cool? Yes, they are, okay? I just don't understand the if you don't see somebody why do y'all automatically go to the negative and like i said it's only some of y'all but the fact that we've all get gotten dms and messages and comments under pictures that all these people are missing like people have named so many people is missing so many people are missing y'all have to understand people got husbands they got children they have regular nine to five jobs some people are saving money to do other stuff. This might not fit in their budget, okay? You just, it's just, everybody's life is different at certain points. And not everybody can go on every trip, and it's okay. The Bahamas last year for Jennifer's birthday trip, you didn't see none of her gym friends that she hangs out with all the time, her gym friends that have become her real friends. But the birthday trip before that, they was all there. Does she still love them and hang out with them? And if you subscribe to her channel, subscribe to my best friend, Jay Corrine. <laughs> They're in a lot of her vlogs. They're still friends, but they haven't been on the last two birthday trips. 
it does not mean people have fallen out. Please stop the craziness. Like, please stop. It just gives weird energy. It's, it's just weird. Like, I just don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. And I know when the, the actual vlogs come out, people are going to be asking under that video. Because this video is going to come out after that. I just want everybody to understand that you're not going to see certain people in every vlog. Yeah, I even had, I talked about this a while back. Some people are like, why are you not close with your oldest son? We never see him. What are you talking about? I talk to my oldest son every goddamn day. Every day. I don't pull up my camera every time he's around me. I don't open my camera up every time he calls me or texts me. What you mean I ain't close to him? Just because I ain't got the camera in his face? The hell? Child. Anyway, so I just want to address that real quick because it gets annoying. It, it really does. And it's not going to stop because even though I didn't put this PSA out, somebody else a few months from now, if I go on a trip or me and Jennifer just go on a trip, just us two, somebody going to say something. Well, why wasn't so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so invited? Just because you don't see them there don't mean they wasn't invited. <laughs> it's like duh and and there's some people who are let's say jennifer's friends who are not my friends i might know them i may have been on a birthday trip with them because it was jennifer's birthday trip but they're not my friends they're jennifer's friends okay then there might be some people at my parties my get-togethers my whatever that are my friends they not Jennifer's friends. They not Portia's friends. They not Lily's friends. They may have met them. They might know them, but it's not their friends, okay? On this trip, Yolanda, which is Jennifer's friend, and actually she's a new friend of Jennifer. She's her cousin Ty's really, really close girlfriend. They went to high school, I believe, together. They've been friends for many, many moons. Jennifer knows her. They just got close within the past, I want to say, two years. So this is the first time she's been on a birthday trip. This is my first time hanging out with her for so long. Of course, hung out with her in very small, short periods of time. But this is my first time hanging out with her intimately for 48 hours on Jennifer's birthday trip. You might not see her on my birthday trip. Does it mean we don't like each other? We don't... No, but that's Jennifer's friend, okay? Me and her, we might, who knows, from, from right now until my birthday, we might become like this. We just started following each other on social media. Like we just, you know, are getting to know each other. But I don't want anybody to think like, oh, Yolanda was on Jennifer's trip, but not on Gina's. They don't like each other. Gina really don't like her. N no, that's Jennifer's friend. You might not see her on Portia's birthday trip. I'm just saying. I'm just saying because it's literally a group of people out here that don't understand how things work. And they're going to assume because you've seen somebody one time at a birthday dinner, on a birthday trip, at a girl's night out. That because you don't see them the next time that people don't fell out. And it just gets annoying, y'all. Anyway. Okay. Let me get myself up together. We got work to do. We got business to take care of. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. I have a long day ahead of me. Lord Jesus. Ethan just signed up for a new basketball team. And today's his first practice. Mm hmm So, yeah, we adding new days into the scheduled rotation of basketball now. So I've been waiting at this point. Well, the meeting was supposed to start 11 minutes ago. Of course, I got on earlier than that. But the meeting was supposed to start 11 minutes ago. How long do y'all wait? I said I will give it to a full 20 minutes before I log off. I think waiting a full 20 minutes makes sense. <laughs> I think at a doctor's appointment, they'd give you like about a 15 minute grace period. So I think 20 minutes. And then I'll email them and say, hey, you know, if you need to reschedule, 
da da da. But if they don't get on, this will be a first. Hmm. Well, that's my timer. It's officially been 20 minutes. I'm away five more minutes. I'm away five more minutes. About to go to the gym. Outfit from Halara. Shoes, Nike. Cute. Cute. And then I have this edge band that I'm going to wear. So my, lid, so my wig won't lift up more than it's already been lifting. So put that on when I get to the gym. Um, I have uh, bruises on the bottom of my feet. Real bruises on the bottom of my feet from walking on rocks from our hike. So I don't think that I'm going to do my normal treadmill or bicycle. Well, bicycle shouldn't be that much pressure on the bottom of my feet. Like just standing here, my right foot, it's uncomfortable. I have to kind of shift my weight to the left to kind of take it off my right foot because I literally have multiple bruises on the bottom of my right foot, unfortunately. Oh, Lord. So I said I was just going to do some upper body work. Probably just do a quick, maybe 30 minutes, maybe sit in the sauna. I don't know, but I don't want to like be irritated trying to do the treadmill. Y'all know the treadmill is like my favorite thing. This is a souvenir that I got from Costa Rica that I bought in the airport. I probably should have bought it from a little store. This little thing was $22. So it's just a little tiny bottle of liquor that says Costa Rica on it. $22. This is the size of my hand. So I'm going to add it to my bar with my other drinks that I've gotten along my travels. I don't buy a bottle of, like, Portia buys a bottle of liquor every country she goes to. I don't do that, um, but I wish I had. Like, I wish I had one from Japan, you know, and I don't. So, so far, I only have three. I got Costa Rica, I got Cancun, and I have Jamaica. And I've been to 15 countries, so 16 countries at this point. So, yeah. Oh, my Fashion Nova pants that I need to return. Yesterday on the airplane, and getting off the airplane, I kind of had to go off on this lady. And the thing is, and I felt a little bit bad afterwards because she was an older woman. I don't know how old because I only saw the back of her. We were getting off the plane. She's walking her dog. And she just stops in the middle of the walkway. And I'm walking. And I didn't know she was just going to stop like a freaking pickup truck. And so I trip over her damn dog. I'm trying to like not break my ankle and not fall all, all this big old body weight on top of her damn dog and kill it. So I'm like, oh. I said, oh, shit. She goes, go, go, go. I said, ma'am, if you don't get your motherfucking dog out this aisle blocking every damn body. And why everybody started laughing? Everybody started laughing, so that made it even worse. I was like, not only did this lady get <laughs> screamed at, everybody started laughing at her too, Lord Jesus. I really shouldn't feel bad, because why, why is your dog not in a crate or a cage? That's one. Being on an airplane, put your dog in a freaking bag or something. And then to just stop right in the middle of the aisle when a hundred people are exiting a plane. You done stopped and Fido started walking in a circle and I almost tripped and broke my freaking ankle. And you gonna holler at me, talking about go, go, go. Baby, you done picked the right one. Cause I don't care how old you are, you about to get hollered at cause you done hollered at me. Yeah. It is so hard getting back in routine because last week I did really bad working out. I worked out. I want to say I went to the gym one time and I did an at-home HIIT workout one time. Last week just was not. It wasn't good for me in my health journey. I didn't eat crazy or anything, you know, which is the most important thing. They say 
weight loss, abs, all of that is in the kitchen, you know, but I just didn't work out how I want Because, you know, working out is that icing on top. Even though I'm eating smaller portions, not eating as much, that's just, you just need that little sprinkle, sprinkle, you know, that little extra, that little cherry on top, that little, you know, so we back at it. It's Wednesday, so I plan to work out Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We'll see how it goes. Okay, y'all, we're at Nordstrom Rack, and they have their red tag um, clearance going on right now. Additional 50% off of all the stuff on these racks. Mainly, a lot of it's winter stuff, which is cool, but we're gonna try some stuff on, okay? I've already picked out these three items and I've only been here for like five minutes. I don't think y'all can see the color of this jacket. This jacket is gorgeous and thick. This is a $300 jacket marked down to $66. I will get it for $33. I'm imagining me wearing it. I'm just holding it. I'm imagining me wearing it like this, actually buckled up with some boots. I really wish the color would come out. It's almost looking chocolate brown on camera, y'all. It's not. It's like a deep, deep, deep maroon or burgundy. The one that's more like purpley. Oh my God. A $300 jacket for 30 And it feels like, wow. Okay, this is a cream top shop blazer. Oversized as you can see, cause this is a US size eight. A US eight, like, anyway, uh, originally $200, marked down to 44, so I'm gonna get it for 22. I'm thinking of wearing it with like a brown bandeau top, brown leggings, something like that, or maybe like my boyfriend jeans. Oh my gosh, if it's so nice. It would be nice to kind of get it like taken in a little bit, but I want to wear it like open and loose. You know what I mean? This is a $150 cropped puffer jacket marked down to 50. So I would get it for 25, but I don't think I'm going to get it. I think I'm going to leave it here, even though it's cute. Y'all know I just, I wear pink, but I don't wear pink like that. I feel like this would just sit and collect dust. I love this trench coat. It's so different. It has the Latisse detail on it, lattice detail. This is cute too. This jacket will be $25. It don't fit me though, at all. <laughs> Not like I need another leather jacket. These are cute, fuzzy Hermes dupes and they're by the brand Mia. Under 30, what's under 30 mean? Oh, baby, what tax is 30? Then I have these colors over here. These are cute, y'all. Nordstrom Rack. Oh my God, y'all. I want to scream. Oh my God. They're only 60 bucks. I was looking at these the other day online. Oh, these are so cute. Oh my God. They could even go with my cream blazer and do like a little cute streetwear look. Wow. <laughs> I know by the time y'all see this, the sale is gonna be over. But y'all, there's so much good stuff. Oh my God, so many good sneakers, like workout sneakers. I don't need another pair of workout sneakers to save my life. So I was like, slow down, cowgirl, slow down, okay? But they have so much. They had so many cute vacation sandals and stuff. They didn't have any of my size for, I can sometimes do eight and a half, but I don't know. I didn't want to put, I had so much stuff in my hands. I didn't even want to put it down to try the sandals on. I really probably should have. Cause there was like three pair of eight and a half uh, sandals that were really cute. One of them was a pair of denim Steve Madden slingbacks with a nice little kitty meow meow heel, like three, three and a half inches. I knew those weren't gonna fit. I, I, when it's a pointy toe, even though it's a sling back open in the back, when it's a pointy toe, I need my size. I need a nine, nine and a half. So I didn't try those on, but the sale was so good. I'm gonna go to another location probably tomorrow. I asked the lady, I said, how long is the 50% off going on? She was like, it was supposed to end two days ago. She was like, they just keep extending it and extending it. I was like, wow. So the Adidas sneakers that I got, those were not part of the sale, but I wound up, I did get all three coats that I showed you guys. I wound up getting the pink one. I'm like, $25 for a coat? 
you can't beat that. You know what I'm saying? And it was over a hundred dollars originally. That's how I justify it. And it fit nice. It was cute. I have a pink Chanel bag that matches it. That would be cute if I went to like Colorado and anyways, yeah. And then I also found a maxi dress that I didn't show you guys. It's just a tie-dye maxi dress that comes all the way to the floor, like covers my feet. I've never had a maxi dress that covers my feet. Y'all know tall girls tap in. Y'all already know what maxi dresses, we get to the ankles and that's really pretty much it. So yeah, it was really nice. I'm about to uh, call Jennifer in a minute. She's still at work. But I wanna tell her before you go home, stop at Nordstrom Rack. Also, I had no clue Nordstrom Rack had their own brand of shoes. Like, there were sandals in there that the brand name was Nordstrom Rack, which I thought was weird. <laughs> and then also, Naked Wardrobe has like a cheaper level of their clothing. It was called In by Naked Wardrobe. The quality still felt the same as the full price naked wardrobe. So I was like, damn, okay. Okay, y'all, let's do a really quick haul of the stuff that I got at Nordstrom Rack. Real quick, like, real quick, like this, like that. Okay, so I got these. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. I feel like, y'all know I always say, I don't wear, let me scooch y'all a little bit closer. I always say, I don't wear heels on vacation. And I don't. I am a flat sandal girl for vacation. And I'm not mad about it. My outfits still be hidden. They still be cute with my flat sandals on. And I am comfortable. But I feel like I could wear these on vacation. They're just, uh, I don't know. I thought these would be nice for vacation. <laughs> they did come in another color. They just didn't have my size. They were, the shoe was, was it orange or hot pink? I believe the shoe, the shoe was orange and then this part was hot pink. Or the shoe was hot pink and this part was orange. I don't know why I can't remember. And they only had those in an eight and a half. These are a nine. But anyways, I got these for a vacation. Are they that cute? Not really, but they're hella comfortable. They're by Circus New York. And they were $29.97. They were not on sale. I got this sports bra. It's just a black sports bra. Z by Zella. I've seen this brand before. This was a $30 sports bra that I think I got for four, $5. Hold on. For $6.55. Just a black sports bra for $6.55. Yeah. This is just a little cropped sweater. It's an off-white. What was the original price? I hate that they put a sticker over the original price. It's so stupid. But this is a $40 sweater by a brand called Abound. And I got this for $5.24. You shop for the winter and fall off-season. So because it's like spring, summer right now, this is when you shop for your fall, winter. In fall, winter, that's when you buy your bikinis. That's when I find all of my really, really, really dirt cheap bikinis because y'all know I refuse to pay a lot of money for something that I'm going to get wet and only wear once or twice. Yeah. Next, a black leather jacket that I don't need. I have seen this brand before. It's called We Wore What. So this jacket was originally $160 and I got it for $8. The jacket was 75% off of the red price. Oh, look at this jacket and it fits so good. This jacket is so cute and it has the things at the shoulders. Like this is a really nice jacket. It's not cropped. All of my other jackets are really cropped. This one comes actual to my waist and it's looser fitting. It kind of reminds me of like a Zara jacket, but for it to be over $150 and I only paid $8 for it, crazy, crazy, crazy for feeling so lonely. As y'all know, I did show y'all some of these. So I was looking at these shoes online, literally the other day, where's my phone? Here they go right now, they're $75 at DSW. 
this is them same shoe $75 at DSW so they are $60 at where was that Nordstrom Rack so I saved what $15 like 20% which is cool there were some other Adidas ones that I was looking at that were over a hundred. I think those that were a different brand. I want to say those were called Samba. Samba Adidas. Let me see. Yeah, so the Sambas, I actually like the way these look better than Sambas. Sambas are a hundred. These are 75. Let's see if y'all can see the comparison. So the black and white ones are the Sambas. They're more curvy. You see the curvy ones are the Sambas. They're a hundred. Then the tan ones are the ones that I have. I actually like mine better so anyways yeah the oh my lighting just turned yellow there we are we're back that's weird so this is the cream blazer that i showed you guys i wound up getting it it's from top shop i like this a lot i think it's just gonna look really cute with these sneakers i just think that's gonna be a look for the fall even if we have a cold night coming up. Because we have been in the 50s at night for the past few days. <gasps> I could wear that, a bando top, some brown leggings, my chocolate brown Louis Vuitton, something like that. I think it would be cute. Then this, so fire. So fire. I freaking love this jacket. I cannot believe I got it for so cheap. So I went ahead and got the pink puffer. I ain't need it, but I went ahead and got it. And then this super long maxi dress. This dress is long, 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 all the way to the ground. Like hella long. God, this was a $200 maxi dress? The heck kind of, what? Go couture, I gotta look this up. Ain't no way this maxi dress was $200. Why I type in go couture and she in pops up? She must pay to have a spot above everybody else. That's so weird. Yes. Oh my God. That is sick. Why was this dress that expensive anyway? It was originally almost $200. Then it was marked down 79% off to $30. And I got it for $15. It don't, it's not even giving $200 quality. It's literally giving Marshall's quality. Which ain't bad, but it's still like $200. I never would have been. Anyways. Okay, so that's my super quick haul. I'm probably not picking y'all back up for the rest of the night. I need to edit a little bit more, but I don't feel like it. I'm tired. Tired, boss. Happy Thursday, y'all. I am about to slow cook dinner early because we got practice today. Both kids got practice at two different locations. It's a mess. I just had my frozen chicken. Y'all know I buy the huge big pack of chicken and then I clean it, bust it down in, into like bags like this. So this bag has 10 wings in it. Sometimes they'll have eight. Sometimes they'll have more. Yeah. I'm just gonna let these, I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna let these just cook on low for uh, two hours. And then when we get home late, late, later on tonight, all I gotta do is make the sides. Because we've been eating fast food for the past few days. And that adds up. Honestly, I'm, I'm talking about it adds up, but honestly, the way groceries are right now, it's, it's almost the same price to eat at home than it is eating out. Like, cause y'all know I'm on all the coupon apps. So like last night, the kids wanted McDonald's. I got them their two uh, combo meals. I think I only paid like $12. And y'all like know a Chick-fil-A, $12 is only one meal. <laughs> I haven't eaten today. I am hungry, but I'm about to get a quick workout in. And I think I'm going to um, go to Salad and Go. 
I did not vlog hardly any yesterday. Y'all, I ate a salad and go yesterday. It's just one of those, you can't even go in there and order your food. It's just a really tiny drive up restaurant, fast food place. You put your order in and they make everything. This is some organic mango jalapeno barbecue sauce. I don't even know how to don't say. I'm just gonna make some rice, macaroni, and glory greens to go along with it. It's gonna be super quick, super easy. Oh, I'll probably also do maybe some croissants with it. I'll be forgetting about those Pillsbury croissants that we have. Sometimes they be going bad. This is another one of my um, souvenirs I got. This is basically for the kids. They like drinking out of uh, coffee mugs. So it says Pura Vida. This is Costa Rica's national like saying. And then just a hand saying Costa Rica. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to wait till my video got done uploading, but I, we gotta go. I gotta be able to get it in at the gym for at least like 45 minutes. And time is not on my side today at all. I think I'm about to have a wig sale. Y'all probably can't see, but I got my wig head. Y'all can't see over there. Yeah, y'all can see my wig head right there. Wig head and some wigs sitting out. So I will probably, the plan is to maybe start on it tonight and it won't be finished for a few days. But, but y'all know I sell all my wigs as is. All my wigs are literally on my head for sometimes just when I do my review or tops maybe a day or two so all of my wigs are as is they might have a little bit of product on them they might have a little bit of glue on them they might have a little bit of powder on them because that's what i do to camouflage the lace i put a little bit of powder on them but that's why mine are so cheap because you're not gonna get a wig that's freshly washed freshly styled you know got pin curls in it when i ship no these are as is. Of course, they will be brushed out. I'll have pictures of each one on the mannequin and give you a description of, of what kind of hair it is, what curl pattern it is, all that jazz. Y'all know I've had a few wig sales in the past that did really, really well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be the exact same. I, I price all my wigs very low because I know when you get them, you're going to have to wash them. You're going to have to do a little bit of tender loving care to them. So with that being said, y'all just be on the lookout. I always have my Poshmark information down below. I sell on Poshmark just because it's, it's easy for me. Yeah, Poshmark gets a cut of my, my commission, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. It's just, it's easy for me and it's easy for y'all. Okay. So, that's that. That's that on that. And, yeah, y'all, let me wipe the kitchen down and then get ready. Put my shoes on for the gym. My workout was good. I just did cardio. I didn't do weights today. I did weights yesterday so I, i'm just very short on time today so we are headed we are headed to salad and go it is after four o'clock this will be my first meal of the day i told you guys i'm gonna give them a second chance yesterday's wrap wasn't bad it just wasn't great i just had higher hopes for it and i don't know why because i haven't talked to anybody who's had their wraps I've only talked to one person. Let me say one person. And they really hyped it up. But yeah. So we're giving it one more chance. After this, it'll just be a oh, if I'm in the area and I'm passing by, then I'll stop because they make their food so quick. Where is it at? Oh, this spot. They got an F45 over here. They look nice. They look cute over here. Where are they?
Is it not like a little standalone thing? Drive through. Okay, that's Starbucks. Is this? Oh, this is it right here. Oh, baby, I had passed the bub. I could have turned in sooner. I need to go to the post office also. Mobile pickup. Oh. Ring bell for service. Do I get out my car for the mobile pickup? Regina? Yes. Yes. Sometimes if you don't want to get out of your car, you just blow around to the main door and tell you have one. That's on. Get out. Oh, okay. No Perfect. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so they have a drive-thru, y'all. Can y'all see me? They have a drive-thru and they have a mobile pickup. So I did mobile pickup. Um... He was like, you ain't got to get out your car. He was like, just drive to the drive through Okay. Gotcha. That's what I did at that location yesterday. I just seen that little window, and I was like, hmm, what's that? Okay, so the, like I told you guys, the one I had yesterday was called, like, Harvest, Autumn Harvest. This one is Chicken Jalapeno, I think. Chicken Jalapeno. about to bust this bad boy open they say if you order a salad from there where am i going child let me put this on my gps because i don't know where i'm at uh but they say if you order a salad from there order the chicken on the side because they'll give you the chicken hot on the wraps it's cold if you order the chicken on the salad it's cold me i don't care about cold veggies i like my meat hot but maybe if this wrap Still isn't that great. Next time I order a salad and do that. <gasps> Did I miss my? Oh Lord, where am I going? Okay, go straight. Oh Lord, they had it on three more minutes. Lord, baby, they wraps are big. And once again, it's not bad. It's just good, not great. Definitely worth trying, I'ma say that for sure. The babies are not out. When I picked them up, I had little Caesars, little cheesy puffs waiting for them in the car. They smashed them and then fell asleep right after. Oh man, to be a kid again, I wish I could crawl in the back seat and take a nap for over an hour in the AC while you're getting chauffeured. That is, that is the life, okay? I think when I drop them off at um, practice, I'm gonna run to the mall. I have a return, well, exchange, return exchange to do at Under Armour. Ethan had ordered, um, he ordered some type of shirt from there. And he got the wrong size. This is what happens when your kids get credit cards. I told you guys. They both just got their uh, their cash app cards not that long ago. So Ethan always orders himself DoorDash and now he's ordering himself stuff off the internet. And it's like, ask your mama before you order your size. Like, don't just order what you think. Ask me, please. Please and thank you, okay? But anyway, yeah, that's where we're headed. I really want a drink, like, not an alcoholic drink. I want like a really good beverage like something refreshing, like some strawberry mint lemonade. Sounds so, doesn't that sound good, y'all? And it's 90 degrees outside, like it's hot. Even though I got my AC on, the sun is like beaming on my arm. I want a really good refreshing drink. I think Wendy sells fun drinks. And I think Sonic does too, but it's just like, oh, all of those empty calories. All of that empty sugar, all of that empty everything. It's just, I don't know. So I am packing for a quick little trip tomorrow morning. I leave tomorrow morning and then I come back home Sunday morning. So I'm just packing just some little things. I'm packing like no thought outfits. 
like things that I can just put on, be cute and comfortable. So I'm really glad that I bought those jumpsuits from Amazon because I'm packing two of those. I might actually wear one on the airplane tomorrow, but no, I am not. I made that mistake last time. I wore one on the airplane for my last trip. Y'all getting totally naked pretty much on a flight where the bathroom is literally right here, right here. Like you don't have much room to even move. And so pretty much, yeah, jumpsuits are not what's up. Body suits are not what's up on airplanes. Neither one of those two, okay? So anyways, yeah, I'm just packing real quick. Quick little trip, you know, being a little bit of cold weather, unfortunately. But it is what it is. I was just picking y'all back up to check in. There's nothing for me to even really talk about. Nothing. Kids went to practice today. I cooked dinner. Dinner turned out really good. Um, yeah, I'll be back in just a minute. I think I'm gonna put some nails on. I'll be back in a minute. I got a lot going on. It's already a little bit late, and I'm my flight is super early in the morning. So let me let me let me let me get this together. We are showered. We are packed. We are all down, baby. And we're putting some nails on. Just doing some little fun nails. Yeah, I just mixed two sets together, honestly. Okay, why is the lighting so bad right here? Okay, there it goes. This, it's coming, it's coming. This is what we looking like. And y'all, I was so stressed out when I had to stay an extra day in Costa Rica. I told you guys, even though I was on camera, behind the camera, I was crying. I was so upset, so emotional the whole day. After I checked into my hotel, I was fighting back tears. Cause oh, at the airport, oh baby, baby, my eyes was welled up. Okay, but yeah, so I was so stressed that I did some stress shopping. I ordered something from Saks. Now this is something that has actually been in my cart at Saks for probably two months. So I mean, I wanted it, and I am one of those people where I'm like. My motto is we don't just work to pay bills and that's it. We work to enjoy the fruits of our labor, buy the things that we want, do the things that we want to do, X, Y, and Z, okay? So I bought the Loewe tank. Y'all know I already have this in black. Why does it feel different? Did they make it? Like, did they make the quality better? Cause y'all know the black one that I have? That thing feels like it's from Walmart. This one is still in the package, but I could just tell this is like a better quality. Wait a minute. <gasps> it is, they upgraded the quality. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. They upgraded the quality. Now I wanna rebuy the black one. I wonder if the black one is. <gasps> oh my God, y'all. It's so heavy and thick now. Wow. Okay. So anyway, just the plain white Loewe tank. I got it in an extra large. Even the sizing looks off now too. They, this is a completely different cut than the one that I got last year. The one that I have last year is a large and it looks bigger than this. I got an extra large because I was like, it's white. It's, you know, I just, I want it to be a little looser, but I am so impressed with the quality okay the way babe y'all think that's it i need to uh, how about i didn't make a list for this trip so i'm just now keep thinking of oh i forgot this i forgot that jewelry like i did not pack any even earrings no rings nothing It's travel day. It's Friday. It's Friday and it's travel day. <laughs> I can never get my sideburns back the way my stylist did them. Like, uh, that's why I'll be trying to save them for as long as I can. Okay, it's good enough. Yes, 
Let me tell y'all how close I'm cutting it. It is currently 8.45. It's saying I'm not going to make it to the parking lot until 9.18 now. The time just keeps getting back and back and back. And you was saying 9.14, then 9.15. Now it's saying 9.18. This is a parking, like a parking ride, okay? 9.18. If they pick me straight up and take me straight there. Boarding starts at 9.30. I do have TSA pre-check and I do only have a carry-on bag. So if TSA pre-check line is short, which it should be. Well, I have, y'all know I have both. I have clear and TSA pre-check. So I have definitely been the airport where the TSA line was inching slow. So I don't know if I'm gonna make this flight. But now there is, of course, there's multiple flights throughout the day, but I would just have to wait at the airport for like three hours. I mean, it would be in the lounge. I don't know why I'm like first world problems. Why am I even complaining? It's like, okay, if you don't make this flight, you'll make the next one while you have your legs kicked up in the lounge, you know? But still, it's kind of like, hmm, I could have slept an extra two hours. You know what I mean? So, yeah, this traffic is very, moving very, very slow. <laughs> Y'all already know I didn't make that flight. <laughs> I didn't even make it inside the building until I got the notification that said final boarding. I don't know why I'd be so bad on time, y'all. I just don't. I was like, I could sleep to the last minute, send the kids off to school, take time on my hair. So now I'm going to have to sit in this lounge for like two hours, which is fine. I could eat, I could drink, and I could edit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be productive while getting tipsy. So y'all, I made it to the lounge. Um, they have a lot of breakfast food today. Usually they only have like, not like a big selection, but it's a bunch of breakfast food. But y'all know I'm on that damn shot. And I ate half of a wrap this morning that I had last night from Salad and Go. I ate the other half of it this morning in the car, so now I can't eat nothing. So I'm gonna try to force something down maybe in about an hour. But y'all, I went, I'm so like, okay, let's just get some coffee. So I got my hot coffee. I was like, it's too early to drink. But then I seen they have like this special drink. It's called a, boo a boozy coffee. It's Bailey's Irish cream, cold brew, and orange spritzer, orange zest. He, he cut an orange, squeezed the, squeezed like the peeling in there and it like drizzled down and then he put it in. So it has like a little pop of orange, yeah. I need orange zest in all my coffee. It's so good. Oh my God. But anyways, let me get comfortable because I'm about to be here for some hours. Okay, y'all, about two hours later, I'm still here. They got lunch out. Beef meatballs, uh, broccolini, potatoes, bread, dessert. And I'm on my third drink. I gotta leave in about 20 minutes, so I might get one more just to uh, top things off.